Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about variable binding in SOQL. In this video, we will see how we can bind a variable to a SOQL query so that we can make that specific SOQL query to behave dynamically with different types of values. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. Generally, SOQL where clause condition is static, but by binding variables in SOQL query, we can easily make it dynamic. By using a variable, we ensure that the value can be provided to the conditions dynamically. Though, variable binding can only be used with SOQL query written in Apex and not in the query editor of the developer console. For example, here you can see there is a variable account type which is binded to this specific SQL query to the type field and this specific SQL query can only be used in the Apex code. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of variable binding in SOQL. So here I'm going to create a class where I'm going to perform a normal SOQL. So I'm mentioning it as account utility. And here I will have a method get account with revenue. And I will perform a simple query that will return me account and its revenue. So account name type revenue from account and definitely I will fetch it, hold it in a list of account and iterate over it. So let me add that part of the code. So here you can see I'm iterating over the accounts and I'm printing all these values. Now definitely when I will save this and call this specific method, I'm going to get all the accounts. But now the thing is I want to make it more dynamic. Like suppose if I want to know uh, accounts for a specific revenue only, right? So how to do that? So what I can do is I can add here a where clause. So let me just do that. Now if I'm saving this and executing it. So to do that, let me come to the anonymous window. Let me call the class name over here dot the name of the method and execute. So you can see it is returning me all the accounts where annual revenue is greater than 100,000, right? But still it is static. Like as many times I will call this method, always the result will be the same. Can we make it dynamic? Like can we pass a specific annual revenue over here and it should return me account with greater than that annual revenue only? So yes, it is possible. So what we can do, we can have a variable over here and we can bind that variable in the SQL query. So whatsoever is the value of the variable, according to the variable value, this SQL query will change. This is known as variable binding. So let me have an integer type annual revenue and let me name it as an ref and I can pass this variable over here. Now while binding the variable, you have to be a bit careful. You will mention the variable name and just before the variable name, you have to add this colon. So with the help of this colon, you can bind any variable to a SQL query. Let me save this. Now when I'm calling this method, that time I have to pass an annual revenue over here and according to the annual revenue, my result will change and execute. And now you will see the result is different. You can see seven accounts are coming over here, right? Now, if I will change the value to this one, definitely the result will change. So let me execute it again. And now you see you are getting lesser results. So you are making your query more dynamic now by binding a variable to it. Now you can not only bind a normal variable, you can bind a collection as well. Now to show you that, let me write one more method over here, this time for account types. So I'm creating a method get account with type. I'm also making the previous method more meaningful like get account with revenue more than because we are having greater than condition over here, right? Now here I will have a list of string uh, and let's mention it as AC types. And let me write down the query and the rest of the thing for uh, for this method. So here you can see I have written the query over here, select ID name type from account where type in, I'm using in and I'm passing a list of values. Now this is static values, definitely I will make it dynamic and I'm getting those account types. Now how to make it dynamic, now instead of writing down this list directly over here, you can bind this list over here. So I will remove all this along with the pair of parentheses 
and I will directly bind AC types. No need to use parentheses over here when you are using a list to add in the in operator. Okay, let me save this. Now we can call this. So let me just call it over here. Method name will be get account with type. And here we are going to pass a list. So let me create a list of string as account types. And here I'm providing some values. Let's suppose customer direct and the second one as installation partner. Now here you can see I am passing this list to this method now and execute. And here you will get all the accounts with customer direct as the account type or installation partner as the account type. So that is how you can bind a variable in a SQL query. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then thank you and take care.